Welcome to ASQ TV, where we're creating a global view of quality. I'm Randall Mauricio, and this episode is all about supply chains. Today, we focus on key supply chain elements and preventing a breakdown. Explore how using ISO 9001 created a reliable supply chain for clinics throughout Kenya. Learn how to develop a SIPOC diagram and why the term supply chain may be outdated. Let's start with a question. What is the supply chain? Simply put, it's a system of activities, information, and the resources needed to move a product or service from supplier to customer. Effective supply chains deliver high-quality products on schedule and within budget to customers. Supply chain expert and ASQ fellow Dick Gould says while open communication is the most essential element of a supply chain, quality leaders also need skills in identifying and managing risks associated with processes like transportation, integrity of packaging, environment and even the political climate where enterprises in the chain are located. The supply chain is only as strong as its weakest link. ASQ member and author Govind Ramu considers the biggest challenge in supply chain management the supplier's ability to scale up volume of a product or service without compromising quality performance. To avoid problems, a supply chain team must perform a comprehensive assessment on supplier capacity, capability and scalability, conduct periodic reviews of readiness to increase production or service output and understand, evaluate and manage quality risks before giving a go decision for high volume manufacturing or service offerings. Now let's see what's working. Chemonix International, based in the United States, is an ISO 9001 certified development company working to promote social and economic change around the world. The company implemented a successful supply chain model as part of the Kenya Pharma project which delivers medicines to people with HIV AIDS. After determining what was needed, three themes emerged in the implementation process. Figure out what you do well and draft clearly documented practices for staff consistency and accountability. Make sure multiple teams work together and know who is responsible for each part of the process. And always focus on the customer. Ensure your output and outcome indicators include customer satisfaction measures. By integrating an ISO 9001 approach, the Kenya Pharma project delivered several key benefits. Flexibility, sustainability and improvement in workplace culture. To learn more about the Kenya Pharma project, read the full story in the June issue of Quality Progress magazine. While SIPOC may sound like a movie creature plotting to take over the world, this simple, flexible quality tool is designed to improve supply chains. The SIPOC diagram illustrates the suppliers, inputs, process, outputs and customers involved in a process while defining the scope of work for a team and identifying the potential gaps between deliverables and customer expectations. To create and use a SIPOC diagram, begin by naming the process. Then indicate the start, stop or the scope. Clearly define the output and what must be accomplished. List the customers and whom the process affects or benefits and the suppliers of the process. Next, note the inputs. What is needed to execute and deliver the outputs? Then list the five to seven highest level steps in the process as they exist today. To learn more about SIPOC diagrams, visit the ASQ Service Division's website. This entire episode has been dedicated to supply chains, but are supply chains as we know them dead? A recent article in Forbes magazine argues the term supply chain is outdated. Today, suppliers and manufacturers often collaborate with each other on site. The article states that a better term for supply chain is network. Without relying on a network of partners practically joined at the hip, few companies could survive and prosper these days. It's an interesting perspective, but for now, we'll stick with the supply chain. You can read the entire article on Forbes.com. Thanks for joining us today for ASQ TV. Click subscribe on this page for ASQ TV's email notification to learn when the next episode is available. And make sure you join us again next month.